No way. What are the chances? <laughs> From the podcast, The Miserable Millennial Book Club. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you here for this speed dating thing? Oh, I'm just waiting for my mate to finish, yeah. You? No. <laughs> I prefer to do things solo. Really, but a bar seems like a new one. Well, considering all the coffee shops are short, I don't really have a choice. I'm the same, actually. I like taking myself out for a meal or a spa day or a weekend away. Or a spa weekend away. Mate, stop. <laughs> I'm Hazel, by the way. Misha. My absolute favourite thing to do solo, which I totally recommend, is go to the cinema. Hmm. You can lean back, switch your phone off for a few hours and just absorb the story. Seems like a great mode of self-care. I just love my films, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were to go, what would you watch? Alone. Alone? On a date? Whatever. God, I don't ever go to the cinema alone. Um... All right, well, what genre would you pick? I love comedy films. Oh, rom-com's my favourite. Yeah, but other types too, like buddy cop comedies and slapstick comedies. Spoofs, comedy horrors, gross-out comedies. I mean, the world needs all the laughter it can get these days. Yeah, and laughing makes you live longer too. Well, let me know if you find someone funny then. I will. <laughs> so, how was the speed dating? It was fun. Unpredictable, but, uh, yeah, fun. Did you meet anyone sexy? Is that word still in circulation? Mm, probably not, but I think I might bring it back. Why not? No one's really caught my eye. I don't think it's the speed dating. I think it's just... For men? Maybe. Or me. I doubt it. I appreciate that. Even though you've only just met me. I am an extremely good judge of character. Mm, I'll hold you to that. You should? Yeah. <laughs> this is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. That poor horse voice must be ruined. Yeah, it's the last date of the night, so I'll be off to meet Ryan soon. In that case, let's get you a drink for the road. <clears throat> it's two for one until the event ends, so that gives you about two and a half minutes. How's up now? Oh, hell's bells, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll order. A couple of G&Ts, they'll be quick, won't they? Oh, I think we could do better with what little time we've got. Shots? Shots. Shots. Let's do it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what is it? Salt lemon first. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I don't like live either. Ooh. So, Hazel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Hazel, I know what you do for fun, but what do you do for work? Oh, no. See, this is why I didn't lead with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do HR. Mm. Just your very basic, boring nine to five. Explains why you're such a people person, though. Mm -hmm. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Already? You know what I miffed about? How come Ryan got an extra date to me? Well,. We can call this a speed date if you want. I, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we are abiding by time restrictions and everything. Annoyingly. I wish we had longer. Do you want to keep in touch and maybe we can hang out sometime? But as much as I love doing things solo, I would really love a partner in crime now and again. Someone take your pics of social media and all that. Yeah, it's more of a PA role, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. And that is time, everyone. Hopefully see you at the next one. Well, you don't want to keep Ryan waiting. <laughs> at HazelX1. You can hit me up there. Got it. Bye, Hazel. Yeah. See you soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that book. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, there was Hazel. Okay. Who I met at the bar by accident. We were reading exactly the same book. We had the same interests. She was really fun. She wasn't even meant to be there. So she hadn't signed up for it? No, she was just in the bar. Okay, so she sounds like it went well. It went really surprisingly well. Okay, nice. I'm like an Hazel. Hazel could maybe progress to date too. You think so? I think so. Okay.
So, Misha, what's gonna happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. God. Mm, she dies at the end. No. <laughs> Why would you say that? She doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. Oh. You've been here long? Uh, yes, actually. But I'm always painfully early. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. <laughs> what about you? What's your timekeeping like? Oh, straight in with the analytics. I've been staring at spreadsheets all day. <laughs> Gathering data has become my second nature. I'm always freakishly on time. I think it's a disease. Right, okay, so I can say this now because we're working out with the same person. Right. I hate people who are late. Me too, it's so rude. There's no excuse for it. Like, five minutes is fine, but anything else, I'm like... Now, see, I'm, like, set off earlier. But traffic? Leave, well, leave yourself in case of traffic <laughs> a bit more time. No excuse. Hardball you are. Mm, not messing about. <laughs> I love your outfit. Oh, thanks. It was, um, yeah, it was a gift. Dungarees. You cannot go wrong with dungarees. I know. Just chuck them on. Life uniform, Absolutely. Right? Do you own a lot of dungarees? I have, like, ten pairs of dungarees. I have about three, and I think that's enough. Yeah, okay. I think you've taken the biscuit there. I'm sorry. Don't apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get a drink? Yes, definitely. What do you fancy? Maybe a cosmopolitan. Ooh, I haven't had one in ages. Okay, okay. Excuse, Excuse me. me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I get two cosmopolitans, please? Mint. Mint. I don't like mint at all. Mm. I mm. like that. Okay, this might sound silly. I love silly. Great. My uncle made up this holiday game called Where Do You Stand? So, like, one person brings up a topic and then it leads to, like, a debate or a discussion or an argument. Okay, can I go first? Who's my guest? Right, let me think. Um, right. Where do you stand on one night stands? Yeah, never played that one with the family before. <laughs> Big questions are better this game. You've played it before? Uncle Jim said he made it up. Uncle Jim lied. Rude. <laughs> I think as long as they're done safely, like, within every sense of the word, I mean, what's the harm? Yeah, exactly. Like, I think there's an experience behind each one. From, like, the moment you spot someone you fancy to... To the walk of shame afterwards. Yeah, see, I prefer stride of pride. <gasps> I love that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? OK, OK, my turn. What topic do I want your opinion on? All right, well, don't think too well, cos your brain might explode. Mm. Tattoos. Where'd you stand? OK, I haven't got any personally, but I've also nothing against them. What about you? Nada, I'm a blank canvas as of now. Mm. Would you get any? No. Even if something meant a lot to you? Yeah, I think especially if it means something to me. Like, cos if you've got something on your body and you can see it every day, doesn't it sort of lose its significance? Like, if I was going to get one, I'd get something really cool, just so I could look at it. That's an interesting view. Mm. OK, my turn. Uh, OK. Peace and war. Where do you stand? Oh, that's a big one. Mm. Are you going to draw any, like, big conclusions from my answer here? Yeah. <clears throat> Not quite possibly, I will, yeah. Great, OK. Mm -hmm. Um. Peace, obviously. Why, obviously? Or why do I support senseless killings for the whims of politicians? Military conflict's never going away. It's a sad fact of life, but I think accepting it and making sure it's done in the right context is the only way forward. Which would be? Well, we're not going to get into that now. <laughs> we'll be here all night. Besides, the world needs pacifists to make sure we're not starting wars over anything and everything. My turn. Oh, here we go. Mm. What are you going to ask? What are you dying to hear my opinion on? <laughs> Exercise? Where do you stand? Um, I think I'm like most people. I have bursts of gym motivation every now and again. How long do those bursts last? Yeah, usually a week. I do not believe that. I mean, come on, look at you. It's a good metabolism. I'm getting away with it for now. Good to know. <laughs> Morning or evening? For exercise or just in general? Just in general. OK. It's pretty straightforward. Or so you think. The complexity comes in your reasoning. I'm a night owl. And I'm a morning person. We're completely compatible. How does that work? Because we complement each other. It's like yin and yang. OK. 
It's like if we were together in the dark ages, one of us would be there to hunt in the morning and one of us would be there to watch the fire at night. So I'll make the dinner and you get us coffee. That sounds like a very good deal to me. <laughs> I feel like I can be quite open with you. Do you want to tell the truth? Or is that ridiculous? No, no, I like it. But you go first. OK. On the count of three. One, two, three. I'm addicted to cigarettes. You're a smoker. It started last year when I was going through a really stressful period of my life. COVID-related? Yeah. But in my defence, I'm weaning myself off them and my next resolution for the new year is to give them up completely. OK. Your turn. Oh, no, I'm still thinking of one. Um, OK, here we go. Three, two, one. I've never been in love. I mean, family love, yeah. Platonic love, yeah. Lust, yeah, but actual real love? Like really falling for someone? No. Nothing mutual anyway. Oh, that's something to look forward to. The first time is always intoxicating. Mm. You speak from experience. Oh, yeah. It's just like everything's bubbling up inside you and you can't stop it. But not that you want to stop it. Everything's just better. Every morning, every night, even a dead-end job in HR is a joy when you're sailing through life in love. But it didn't last forever. No. It was out of my control, but... Yeah, I'm ready to get back to it. You've really sold it to me. Mm. I look forward to it. <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> Uncle Jim know the game was a success. Please do. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Um, Misha, I don't normally ask this, but would you be all right to cover my part? I'm just in a really hard spot financially. The whole thing? If you won't mind. I, it would really help me. You know what? If you're in a hard spot, I'm happy to help. Oh, thank you so much. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Is it rent day or something? Yeah. Yeah, that and I've had to take some unexpected time off work recently, so... Oh. Well, I hope you get back to the office soon. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I had a lovely time. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. It's been a belter. I've got to go in a minute, but I've got to wait for my taxi. Well, I'll just wait with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's that? Shit. Um, nothing... Look, I'd really love to walk you home, but I've just got to get back myself. Is everything all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh. Text me when you're home, will yeah? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, I'll see you soon. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Mm. Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm good, thanks, you? Uh, yeah, of course you are. Um, look, I, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out again. I, I, I know this really lovely place. Yeah, that, that's, that's great. I will text you the details. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did it. You excited? No, yeah, maybe. A little, a little bit. A little bit. I'm excited. Really excited. Yeah? Mm -hmm. material on all your dates or just only the ones I like <laughs> and this one is my latest obsession I am honored oh sorry my sister Megan she's on a date tonight she's absolutely breaking it do you mind if I just give her a oh, call go for it hey babe you okay 
You almost there? Yeah, I'm with her now. No, don't apologize. She doesn't mind. No, honestly, she doesn't mind. All right, would you feel better if I put you on speakerphone? Okay. Misha, meet Megan. Hi, Megan. You right, Misha? Sorry I'm stealing hairs from you. No, it's, it's fine. fine. I'm nearly at the bar. Sweating like a glass blower's ass. Are you quite an anxious person? Not usually. Right, Hayes? Yeah, not at all. I'm meeting them off a dating app, which I never do. Swipe, yes. Flirt, yes. Write unsolicited dick pics, sometimes. Meet in person, absolutely bloody not. Well, I mean, if you're meeting them in a public place, then you can just bail if you feel uncomfortable. OK, thanks, Misha. I, I said that. <laughs> Sorry, Hayes, just Misha sounds more legit than you. OK, I'm going in. Reckon you could stay in my ears? Uh, how would we do that? My hair covers my wireless earphones. They won't notice. This is some secret agent shit. We got you, baby girl. OK, so what's on your mind? What do I do if they don't look like the pictures? Like a mahoosive catfish? I'm guessing you haven't video called or anything? No, or should I have? Well, it might have been a good screening test, but it's a bit late now. Posting inaccurate pictures is a shit move, but there might be reasons. Yeah, they could be really insecure. Yeah, some people just don't get good photos of themselves, you know? Maybe give an hour and see what they're like. That's a really considered approach. A positive thinking, though, they will look as good as their pics. Oh, my God, it's them. I'm walking over. Hey, you! Oh, my goodness, I am so glad you look like your pictures. Oh, thanks, you too. Great to meet you, Megan. First crisis avoided. Yeah. Why are we whispering? They can't hear us. That's true, actually. <laughs> Shall we get some drinks? Oh, sure, yeah. This place does the best espresso martinis. I'll get us a couple. Did they just order for you, Megan? Um, no, it's a bit of a red flag for me, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, espresso martinis sound good. <laughs> espresso martinis. You don't even like those. They give you the shits. Well, I have to agree with Hazel. It's a bit controlling. Change the order if you want. Um, actually, could we just get a gin and tonic instead? Phew. That could have got messy. <laughs> Thanks for that lovely piece of information. You're welcome. Um, look, Megan, I, I know this isn't the cool thing to say. Yeah, cool small. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been looking forward to this all day. It probably got me through work and that. Oh, that's nice, right? Me and me. <laughs> Your job must be shit. <laughs> um, I actually love it, but um, it's just that I never matched girls like you, so, um, yeah. Oh, they sound pretty genuine to me. I know how they feel. Very smooth. Like what I did there? <clears throat> Sorry, Megan. Uh, show some appreciation. They'll like that. Well, that's just made my day. We'll call it even then. So, Megan, what do you do for fun? Yeah, you know, I never know what counts as a hobby. Um, like, I scroll TikTok before bed every night. Does that count? I cook every day, but that's because I'd die otherwise. Oh, poor thing, she's rambling. She's got to improve the chat. What, like, change the topic to something more interesting? No, 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 small talk's good at this stage, you know. Gotta get the flow going. Acupuncture. I just did a course in it. There's a hobby of mine. Well, then how can you progress the hobby chat? I find acupuncture terrifying. Needles of all girths are a hard pass from me. I see. Elaborate, Megan. Tell a personal story about one of those hobbies. You sure? Well, everyone likes someone who can express themselves. You've never seen an acupuncture needle, then, because it's totally girthless. I could still never. <laughs> I've taken this personally, you know. It releases biochemicals that stimulate the body's natural healing abilities. You've almost converted me. A private treatment would finish the job. Our drinks haven't even arrived, and you've already agreed to me sticking needles in you. <laughs> So, if you know the express espresso martinis here so well, is it your regular date spot? Oh, God, no. I barely ever go on app dates. Uh, how about you? Me, um... What do people like to hear you? Mm, depends. Cook up both ways. Guys, please. Who are you talking to? What? No one. No one didn't say anything. Oh, you need to say over. Be honest, Megan. Don't get off on the wrong foot by lying. Look, I'll be honest. I barely date at the best of times, let alone from apps. They scare me that I won't match up to my profile. Well, Megan, um, you more than match up to me, and I feel honoured you took a punt on meeting me. Do they actually? Well, for sure. App dating feels like one big competition, so it's nice to feel unique. Two seconds, Megan, I'm just going to pop to the loo. Take your time. OK, guys, I'm alone for a sec. How do you feel, baby girl? I actually quite fancy them. Get in, Megan. Yes. <laughs> what would you like to know next? Love that from you. Debrief later tonight. For sure. Thank you 
so much, guys. They're coming back. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> I know she thanked us both, but it was mainly you. Mm. I just went with my gut. Well, your gut is very impressive. That sounded better in your head, didn't it? Completely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all that excitement, we forgot to order any food. And drinks. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yes. Why is there nobody up here? Hello. Mama. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Say, you seem like a great friend to Megan more than anything else. Well, if nothing else, I'm loyal to a fault. What do you mean? You know, I had to dash at the end of our last day. Oh, yeah, I just assumed you had to run off to watch something on the telly. Let me just show you. Is that a tag? Just let me explain. What, do you fresh out of prison? No, it, I've not been to prison. It, I'm on bail pending trial. For? ABH. I was out with Megan and then some guy groped her, so I walloped him one. Smashed him in the face, cracked his nose, blood everywhere, he got sent to hospital. That's nothing to be proud of. I'm not proud of it. But I would do it again in a heartbeat to protect people that I love. It does mean I still have to be in by 10 tonight. Is this your first brush with the law, or...? I mean, I did some graffiti as a kid, but... It's not like I go looking for that stuff, it just... It finds you? Misha, I want you to know this is not the person that I am. Just can't help the situation. I've spent enough time with you to know that you're not a bad person. We just need to keep you out of trouble. That won't be hard for someone like you. I was suspended from work because of the incident. I was supposed to go back last week, but my perspective's just changed. I've realised that life can just change in the blink of an eye, so why would I want to go back to that rat race? You really don't like your job, do you? No. <laughs> but sadly, I've got bills to pay. What would you do in my shoes? On a scale of one to ten, how disgruntled are you? I'm a strong 15. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Look, these past two years have shown us that nothing's certain. London is unforgiving and you should cling on to stability while you've got it. But that doesn't mean you've got to endure it. I mean, there are things you can do. Ways you can help yourself. Do you not think I've tried that? I just feel so trapped. You're not actually living in a prison. <laughs> you can talk to your bosses. I mean, there's always room for compromise. Make lemonade out of lemons. Hmm. Exactly. It's the lowest risk. Sounds like you're a fixer, not a changer when it comes to problems. I'd rather face things than run away from them. OK. <clears throat> to not changing and facing our problems. <laughs> I am growing a massive food, baby. Mm, I've got one more mouthful of tiramisu here if you want to help me out. All right, go on. You have a very resilient mm. nature. That would have been key defence to my judge. <laughs> Curfew your arm? Yep. It was great seeing you again. I just want to know what your nature thinks about us. Oh, that was very slick. So slick. Mm -hmm. I really like you, Hazel. You're beautiful and genuine and trustworthy. And I know you'll always have my back. <laughs> I really like you too, Misha. I really want to just run away and kiss you, but I've got to go. Well, let's run together. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs>